hi, Renee Seiler. How we are you? miss you. I we know. miss you in Dallas. I miss you too. <laughs> Oh, thank you so very much. We just really are so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, you guys are, you're cooking with gas down there too. Well, I'm inspired by women who created a way for me to do what I do. So I thank you so very much. You don't know me personally, but professionally, you opened a lot of doors for oh. a lot of people here in Dallas. Oh, and thanks. Well, thank you, and you got a, we got a chance to talk to you today. My audience was excited when I talk, told them I get to talk to the beautiful, the famous, the wonderful <laughs> Renee Tyler. They were excited. Yeah, a lot of people remember me from WFAA and from KTVT. Yeah, I spent 10 years in Dallas, so sure. You made your mark in Dallas. You have a lasting legacy here. But today we're going to talk a little bit about travel and yeah. the holidays. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put that together. What, what, what do we got going? It's time. Well, a lot of people uh, have said they're going to travel over the holidays. Uh, there was a global survey uh, conducted by Home Away, and, and they um, talked to 4,000 families uh, both in the United States and in Europe. And 81% said, yeah, we're going to be with family over the Christmas holidays. And, and sort of underscoring how important it was to be with the people that you love. However, on the flip side, two-thirds of them said, yeah, we also anticipate a little bit of friction and having some arguments in that time. So while we want to be together, we also understand that perhaps uh, there is such a thing as too much togetherness. And, and that's where this is really a great option. If you... Um, decided that you wanted to have, let's say, your parents come in. Uh, they, could, they could come in and stay with you, but rent a home around the corner from where you are. That way, everybody can have, say, Christmas dinner together. They can open presents or what have you, but then have their own space as well. Another option would be to go to a, a destination location where you could rent a house that would be big enough to accommodate you know, all the families, maybe two, three generations, four generations if you wanted. Um, and everybody have their own bedroom and their own bathroom. Little things like that really, uh, you know, sort of tamp down on the stress that, that can accompany this holiday season. You're very true. My husband's family is like that. They're all coming in for the holidays. Uh, my daughter graduates from SMU. Oh, great. <laughs> Yeah, it is, you know, and you know how expensive that is, SMU. But anyway, <laughs> they're all coming in from the north, and everybody's staying at a hotel. And this is how they these, these people get along. They stay at a hotel, rent their own cars, and they gather in one place. So this is so timely that you're bringing this up for people that they don't have to stay in your home. That, that creates sometimes just not the right conditions. Yeah, and, you know, I would even go one step further because a hotel can sometimes be expensive because you're having to eat out every single meal and then if you're you know you're traveling with a group and you have to have four hotel rooms uh, that can get to be expensive if if they were say going to rent a house uh, they, they'd be able to cook a couple of their meals right there. They could have breakfast and lunch in the house uh, and then maybe just go out at dinner so you're saving some money there. So it's quite economical to rent, rent a home as well. What about when you have children and you travel with those? What's, what's the, what's the uh, recommendation? Well, you know, with children, um, they, they're really creatures of habit and familiarity. So the idea that they could have their favorite toy, their favorite blanket, you know, that kind of thing, a space to go in the house is important. Because also one of the things that the survey showed was it's not just adults who are stressed out. Kids were actually worried, too. Two-thirds of them felt like, but if we travel... How is Santa going to find us? So there's this great website called RerouteSanta.com, RerouteSanta.com, and kids can enter their name, where they're going to be, uh, send that email off to Santa, and then they, they have some assurance that Santa will find where they are and the gifts will be there on Christmas morning. Well, I love your, your suggestions, you know, and I have to say it this way. For African Americans, this is a new way of thinking, not having people stay in your home and save money. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But, but we, listen, everybody understands this. Enough. <laughs> you know, I love you, I love you, but I love you. I can love you from a distance, too. <laughs> But these are some great ideas. They really, really are. Is there a website where people can get more inspiration about this, how to, you know, have a, a peaceful holiday? Absolutely. Uh, please check out HomeAway.com. HomeAway.com, you can get all the answers and resources that you need and are looking for for a nice, quiet, 
calm, relaxing uh, holiday vacation. And remember, we need to remember what this is about, that you do love these people, you want to be with them, um, and, and to just kind of go roll with the punches, I mean, for lack of a better term. It's not going to be perfect. It just has to be good enough. <laughs> Well, perfect is not always, you know, the best answer. Thanks so much. And I wanted to tell you, I watched you on Exhale in preparing for this interview. Oh. I really like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, no. Valder. Well, thank you guys for having a voice for women. I really appreciate that. And thank you so very much for talking about how to have a great holiday. And I hope my audience is taking notes. And you too. Don't let all those people stay in your house. No. <laughs> I got to cook, though. Thanks, Renee Seiler. Thanks for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. Bye, Valder. <laughs>